what we're going to do today is aligning some of the planks. We're not up to adding the planks on just yet, but I've been doing this for ages and it's kind of boring now. This part here needs to join to this part here. We need to line them up exactly to make sure that, you know, they're all lined up, I guess. So here's the 2100 line and underneath, this is also the 2100 line. So they line up basically like that. Because it's over such a long distance, it, we could be off by like 10 millimeters here if, unless we line this up like properly. You can see we have our reference line here and this line should be exactly reference to that line there. Hey, where's the twine? Aligned. I got these uh, carpenter's pencils with this fancy sharpener. I always wondered how you sharpened uh, one of these uh, type of pencils. Well, with a slot like that, apparently. Yeah, it fits, fits right in there. Oop. Etc. I don't know what the difference is between a carpenter's pencil and a regular pencil. But like, wood is what carpenters do, so... Wood? Carpenter? I don't know. Got them anyway. I'm gonna do a scarf joint on the end of here. This is the 1300 line right here, which corresponds to the 1300 line, mm, I think here. Now my router bit is 16 millimeters in diameter. So I've ruled these uh, lines at 16 millimeter increments. This section will be routed down to five millimeters, this down to four, this down to three, this down to two, this down to one. This join will just be 80, which should be okay. We're going six millimeters over 80, uh, 13 to one, which is actually the exact same ratio of scarf joint as I did here, um, joining the uh, Base together, so that's all good. Here is my setup for creating the scarf joints in the planks. So I have my router here on this uh, big routing jig it'll always be supported and won't sort of go off at an angle. This edge here is straight. I'm going to clamp another straight edge here so that I can just use that edge and go along it. After the first proper cut, looks like it's Pretty close to the line, in fact, basically exactly on it. Yeah, that's one mil. So, I've been having issues getting the router cutting at a specific precise depth. That's important because I need to cut these precisely, well, more or less. Um, one millimeter here, two, then three, then four, then five. To get a consistent angle for the scarf joint. The way you set the depth in the router is it's got this little knob that you untwist and you can slide this forwards and backwards and it has a little gauge. But it's not very accurate. I've been getting mixed results. I got another screw. I screw that through this hole. I got some nuts and I'll just put a nut there. As I screw it, it'll change the height here. Hopefully that will give me pretty precise control over exactly the depth of the router bit. I've been doing some experiments with turning this nut a certain amount of revolutions and then cutting into this piece of scrap wood and measuring the depth. So here are the results. So it looks to me like we can pretty conclusively say that 0.75 millimeters per revolution of this nut 
in depth. So if we do it 2.66 revolutions times 0.75, we should get a depth of two millimeters. Okay, we're now at two and a half. One sixth of a revolution is 0.166. We just have to go one point further around. And then we've got our 2.66 revolutions. So this should be a depth of two millimeters. Now, once we put it on the jig. Moment of truth here. 2.1, 2.05. The router is not exactly perfectly even, but I think that's pretty good. Much more accurate than we were getting before anyway, so. Cool. On further research, I looked up the thread pitch of M5 bolts thread, and it's 0 0.8 millimeters. So my calculated value of 0.75 here is probably actually 0.8 uh, that I just got wrong because of measurement errors. So I think what I have just done is calculated the thread pitch of the bolt that I'm using. Hmm. So I think I'll just use 0.8 and trust that uh, that's correct. Yay for science. Mm. Measuring stuff, I guess. So, after much messing about with uh, screws and things, trying to get things accurate, I have my steps here. One millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, four millimeter, millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter. It just remains for me to sand this down, and I should get a reasonable, although I have thought about just leaving it as steps. Um, and seeing if it fits together like that. I think I'll leave it as steps for now uh, and do the next piece and then see if it fits together. And if it does, then great. If it doesn't, then not great, I guess. We'll see. Mm -hmm.